Good day everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are looking at some questions involved in the NCA Level 1 as well as Level 2. This topic will be called Solving Simultaneous Equation. What is Simultaneous Equation? The idea of Simultaneous Equation is to solve the two unknowns. Could be Usually the unknowns are the X and the Y when you are given two equations. So for example, the first equation might be this line here in graphical. And equation 2 is due, and the objective is to find the point of intersection. What is the value of x and what's the value of y? So, in other words, in simultaneous equation, you have to find both the values of x as well as y. Okay, we shall look at some example now. There are two methods in simultaneous. The first method is called the elimination method. So, you need to eliminate either the x or the y. So, suppose we have an example here. 2x minus y equals 7, we let that be equation 1, and 3x plus y is equation 2. The idea of elimination is that the coefficient of x or the y must be the same. So in this case, x coefficient of x is 2, and the second equation is 3, is not the same. The second the y, the coefficient is 1, and for the other one, 1 is minus 1, and 1 is plus 1. So we can actually eliminate the y. To do that, we either add or subtract the whole equation 1 and 2. So suppose we do a adding. When we add that equation, what happens is that 2x plus 3x, that becomes 5x. Minus y plus minus plus 1y, that will be eliminated. So they'll be cancelled out. And then 7 plus 13 is 20. Then the next step of the solving, to get rid of the 5, you divide by 5. And then you have solved your x. So x is equals to 4. That is not all. You have to find your y. To find your y, you need to substitute either into equation 1 or equation 2. So we decide to do equation 2 because it seems to be easier. So substitute x equals to 4 into equation 2. So the equation 2 is 3x plus y equals to 13. Now you know that your x is 4. So you're going to replace x with 4. Okay, and then we're going to solve it plus y equals to 13. So 12 plus y equals to 13 minus 12 on both sides, y equals to 1. And so you have found that x equals to 4 and y equals to 1. And that will be the solution. And to co confirm checking it, you can substitute this value into both equations if they are equal to the actual value, then you have found it right. For example, x equal to 4 and y equal to 1. We substitute them into the first equation again. 2 times 4 is going to be 8. 8 minus 1, that will be 7. And you know you got it right. We shall look at another example. This time it's a little bit harder. Now the coefficient of x and y are different. If you see, the coefficient of x is 3 and 5. Coefficient is y is 1 and 2. So what you're going to do, you have to make the same coefficient. The first step I would reckon you to do is to multiply this by 2 so that your new equation becomes, equation 1 now becomes 3x times 2 is going to be 6x plus 2y equals to 30. And then, then we are now going to simplify the second. Now we call this equation 3. Now we're going to add and subtract equation 2 and 3. So we are now going to do these two equations now. So now the x, the coefficient of y is the same. So what you're going to do, we're going to eliminate them. You either add or subtract. So be, because both of them is positive, we're going to subtract. So 2y minus y, they will be eliminated. 5x minus 6x is going to be minus x. 24 minus 30 is going to be minus 6. And then to solve it, you're just going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. And then we got it. x is equal to 6. That's x equal to 6. Now, of course, we need to find your y. To find your y, we're going to substitute one, the x value into the other, either in equation 2 or 3. We shall decide to do on equation 2. Equation 2 is 5x plus 2y equal to 24. Now, if we substitute x equal to 6, 5, and then x is now equal to 6, so 6, and then we are going to solve it as usual, 2y equal to 24, 
30 plus 2y equal to 24. 2y equal to negative 6. And divide by 2, you're going to y is negative 6, negative 3. So you're going to be, your answer is going to be x equal to 6 y equal to negative 3. If you substitute them into either of the equation 1, 2, and 3, you should get the right answer. Okay, the next method we're going to do is called the substitution method. Substitution method is slightly different. You are given y is equal to 2x minus 3. And now, what happened is that whenever you see a y, you're going to replace that y with this equation. So let's work it out now, okay? So now the equation is 4x minus 3y. Instead of y, you're going to replace that y with the equation beforehand. So you're going to replace that equation. The y is now being replaced by 2x minus 3, and then that is equals to 9. Everything else is the same. You're going to replace that y with 2x minus 3. Now you expand the equation. 4x minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x, minus 3 times minus 3 is going to be plus 9 equals to 9. Now you solve it. 4x minus 6x is minus 2x plus 9 equal to 0, 9. And then you minus 9 on both sides, minus 2x equal to 0, x equal to 0. Once you have done your x, again you have to find your y. To find your y, you need to substitute into, into equation 1 and 2. I think equation 1 that looks easier. y is 2x minus 3. And now you're going to substitute your x is 0. So 2 times 0 minus 3. And the answer is going to be minus 3. And your answer, overall answer x is 0. y is negative 3. That is how you do the substitution method. And the last example is a question that you will get in linear algebra if you are doing that internal. So what happens is that you have y equals to 3x plus 2 at equation 1. So we're going to write that as equation 1. And y equals 7x minus 6. That's going to be equation 2. So now what we're going to do, we're going to substitute whenever we see the y in the second equation, we're going to replace it with 3x plus 2. So y is now replaced by 3x plus 2 replace that y equals to 7x minus 6. Now we're going to solve it using linear algebra. So now 3x plus 2 equal to 7x minus 6. The first step you can get rid of the 2. So you minus 2 on both sides. So 3x equals to 7x minus 8. Now you're going to minus 7x on both sides. So you're going to get minus 4x. This will cancel out equal to minus 8. And then you divide by minus 4 on both sides. So x equals to 2. Again, that's not good enough because you need to find your y. We're going to continue here. So if x is 2, so y, we substitute in equation 1, equal to 3x plus 2. And when x is 2, so 3 times 2 plus 2. And the answer is going to be 8. Your final answer, x equals to 2, y equals to 8. And that's all good. So hopefully you have learned the two methods of simultaneous equation. This example will be useful for linear algebra when you are finding two straight lines. And the other first three will be good for level 1 and level 2 NCA exam. Keep practicing and hopefully you have learned something from this video. Thank you.